This episode of War Weekly is brought to you by WarWeekly.net, your source for Warcraft and Blizzard news, guides, and editorials. This week in Warcraft, Warlords of Draenor appears in the Battle.net account images, which could indicate the beta, pre-orders, or really nothing at all. Siege of Orgrimmar will be converted to the 6.0 raid system when the Warlords of Draenor pre-patch comes around. And what? Subscriber numbers have gone up by 200,000. WoW is now back up to 7.8 million subscribers. I'm Mezzi, and welcome to our weekly. This week, I am joined by Mr. LJ. How are you, LJ? I'm doing quite well. Myself, I've had a very good week, so yourself? That's good to hear. I've had a chaotic week. Busy and um, confusing in parts. And uh, it can, yeah. can be interesting, of course. Yeah, life-changing, really, considering the decision I have to make. Also joining us this week, Matt. How are you, Matt? I'm not bad. How are you? I, I know. I've heard about your decision. The sex change is a really important thing. <laughs> we, we, we promised not to say anything about it. Come on, man. <laughs> Sorry. Least, I tried to keep promises, man. Jesus. Yeah. No, in actuality, Just I so might you know. be changing universities. Just which, so you know. Next uh, week, there'll be Mizette. <laughs> 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 wow. Wow. Fucking special. Wow. <laughs> Nothing else to say to that. <laughs> no, but really, um, I might be changing universities, and that comes with a whole lot of shit, to put it shortly. So, yeah. Let's move on to World of Warcraft, shall we? A bunch of things have uh, happened this week, but there are things we've talked about in the past a lot as well. So, let's just go through them quickly and... See what you guys have to say about them. Uh, starting with the subscriber numbers. They went up by 200,000. 200k. Uh, were you guys really expecting this to happen? I would have thought it would have decreased. Or, I, th uh, I think nobody expected this to happen. Maybe not. Probably not even in, 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 in what's it called, Blizzard itself. Because they have been steadily decreasing over the past, what, year? Two years now? Yeah, only at the start of MOP, they had the surge. After that, it's been a drop ever since. Yeah, That's what I mean. Uh, for myself, it's more... Yes, a surprise. Oh, it wasn't expected, but when you think into it, I think the last announced figures came out just before Christmas. Um, well, don't... those were the quarter three uh, numbers, so that indicates uh, those uh, numbers were at the end of... Um, August, September, somewhere? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Um, and these numbers are from uh, on the 31st of December 2013. So, yeah, I, I agree. I think it, it's a bit surprising, of course, in that time frame. I was a little bit expecting, you never know, the last one may have been just before Christmas, and people might have thought, start at Christmas is out of the way, let's start coming back now. But, yeah, to actually go back up again. But it may also be the fact that People have been out there trying other things, and there isn't really anything else to play, so thinking, oh, well, we'll come back for a bit. And possibly because of the BlizzCon announcement for Warlords, that might have hyped it up a bit. Yeah. Always a possibility, of course. So People then the real interesting numbers are going to be next corner, because right now the, there are indications, if you uh, checked out the website, and we might actually talk about that as well, but... Other than that, yeah, nothing new has happened. It's been pretty still. All right, silence, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there's yeah. not much more to say about it. It's yeah, just... there's not much more to say about it. That's why it's in the quick round of a few subjects. I completely huh? agree with everything you have said. Next. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's move on. The quick way to earn money. Oh, wait. 
Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> we need more viewers for that now, don't we? Yep. So, um, anyway, moving on. Um, over the past few days, maybe more, possibly up to a week, there have been a few more hints on Twitter as well as uh, data mining of a... Well, not data mining, but fi the finding of an image on battle.net for the account page resources. And basically my question is, could these various uh, hints mean that the beta is actually coming this month? Let's start with Matt. Yeah, it could be. Um, it would be a nice bonus if it happened. Um, unfortunately, all we have to go on is hints, guesses, and a few, like, um, smoke signals. Well, that's what this podcast is built on, isn't it? Yeah, hint guess Pretty much. A few, a few smoke signals, um, some, some carrier pigeons. So, <laughs> that is really where you get the, with it seems like the information comes from. But, I don't know, hopefully, if it does, it will be really, it will really good because it'll be, I think we've all turned around and said, with the whole announcements of the PvP season, um, which be is ending one. in one and a half week, by the way. Which is ending in one and a half weeks, so then there'll be another one after that. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. So with that happening, you, you've got to think, bring the beta out, because that could be what we're all saying. That could be the thing they're actually going to bring out for the PVEs to actually test the next experts, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. The only th other thing that I uh, thought about today after writing the article for the website yesterday was that... Uh, the image could just as well be just for the pre-orders because those will be pr uh, be coming in pretty soon as well, so that you already get the Warlords of Draenor image on your account page if you've pre-ordered the expansion. Yeah, it could be, um, but say we'll, we'll see. It's um, probably a fair way away to at the moment, but hmm, it's going to be intriguing. Yeah, the next few weeks are going to be interesting, so we will be watching for more solid information uh, than these hints, because we really do need the information. And uh, if it's not much, at the very least, next Tuesday we'll get the Garrison's preview from the art department. So that'll be fun. That that's going to be interesting, of course, because that's, I think, one of the most anticipated features. It is the features. feature of the expansion. There's yeah. no other feature. Yeah, that is a, there is no other feature. Well, it's, yeah, it's one of those things. You, you could turn around and say there's two or three things that are going to not change with it because I think that there's a few elves and things changing with the skills and everything. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be the main feature is going to be the garrisons. Is it going to work fine? Yes, it's going to be fun having uh, minions to boss around. Who doesn't like minions? Who doesn't like minions? Yeah. Hopefully they will be yellow with one eye and... Will they have their own language? I yeah, that'd be amazing. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would rake in the the the, the subscriptions. <laughs> oh yeah, I just don't think Blizzard can pull that off. There's well, no uh, way that deal will ever. We've already happen. we've already got Pokemon. We've already had Plants vs Zombies. So <laughs> why not? <laughs> well, the Plants vs. Zombies thing was just one quest, though. They should have made that into a midi game, though. Or can you go back and do it again? You can go back and do it as many times as you want. Really? Yeah. Wow. We know what Messi's going to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> no. No rage. Well, you know what I'm Messi's... going to be doing, but it's not that. Oh, hello. Thanks. <laughs> um... It's going to be oh, Sig 5. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, I'm glad we can keep the awkwardness at an all-time high this podcast. Of course. Because that's what we're apparently all about. Always. But yeah, um, let's move on, unless LJ has anything else he wants to add to it. No, not really. All right, then. Then the final part of the quick round for the news uh, segments. Are you glad that we'll get to test out the new expansion, or not a new expansion, the new raid system before we actually go into the Draenor? Um, personally, and I'm going to be speaking for me and you mainly here, and I hope LJ will be able to let us know what he thinks. Um, 
No, I'll stay silent like always. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's sort of again. I think it's sort of. It, it's. I feel like it screws Temon at Guild over. Early on, yes, okay, it gives us a bit more time to get everything sorted, a bit more time to recruit lots of players. But say we're a ten-man guild, we've just we've had a few issues, well, that will be discussed later. But we've upped our roster by fifteen members, which for for a ten-man guild is actually quite a healthy, solid set of raiders. Fifteen people can swap out. You, you can cope with people not being there, but. Still, we probably need to recruit another 10 people. So yeah, you've got definitely. to find another 10 people to fill a raid roster who are of decent standard. And now they've pretty much said we need to do that in a very short period of time. And for me, I think that takes the mick a little bit. Well, I, I... I have to disagree with you on the short period of time part because it won't be... Uh, put in until the 6.0 patch which usually is what a month to two, two weeks basically before the expansion drops so we still have plenty of time in that regard and um, I believe it was Watcher so that would be Ian Hazekostas uh, the lead developer um, encounter rather developer uh, he said that we would get plenty of uh, warning before they uh, implement 6.0 so taking that I, I still think even bringing it forward by a month it's just going to be very hard task for a lot of 10 man guilds to get everything sorted they were sort of using the presumption that oh it's alright 25 man guilds will have to shed some people well I doubt it will because ok 25 man there might shed there aren't some many left yeah, but one, there aren't many 25-man guilds le left. There's a fair few, of course, but there's not as many as they keep talking about. You've got... they These guilds can quite happily... Method could quite happily keep the same roster they've got now. They probably have 35, but I don't know. 35, they could quite happily, happily keep the same roster now and just swap and change and still be world first. Yeah, exactly. They can just... All they need to do, they don't need to keep people because people will probably want to retire. People will probably raid in Method. All they'll have to do... It's like businesses. If you want to cut your, um, if you want to cut your numbers down, sometimes you just wait for the old people to retire and not replace them. And that's all that will happen with the big girls. I just they'll keep the same roster. People want to retire. Of course, one or two want to leave. Fair enough, they want to raid, but they'll, they'll probably just have a fair few retirements. Yeah, I quite agree because at least as far as Mr. Pandaria goes, just like Cataclysm, really. It's felt like a really tiring expansion as a raider. Um, I didn't have that as much in Wrath or the Burning Crusade, for example. It's just... I don't know. It's been a long haul, even though... Um, it's not been that long time-wise. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. It's, it's felt like a bit of a... <laughs> the whole expansion. I still have six months to go. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so we're we're not there yet by a long shot, to be honest. Yeah. So yeah, and I get what you mean. Of course, I have a different view on it. The, the like, you, I mean, flex is going to be great, isn't it? Yeah, it is because of the with the ten man and the casual rating. I mean, it's going to be a very good um, option, a very good uh, uh, chance possibility for us. So yeah. I'm looking forward to see how it goes. And yeah, I mean. Of course, I understand that for you guys it's going to be more difficult, but I mean, I think they should also stop. Uh, it's good to think about the top 1% guilds, but it, I mean, at the moment, I think Blizzard is focusing too much on what, what uh, the, 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 would be best for them as well. I mean, it's uh, of course, they can switch around and such, they can improve, and they have like 50 people standing in backup or something, just saying something. But like normal guilds like you guys, it's just it's it's difficult when something like that changes all of a sudden, or all of a sudden changes. Then you need to be out there and, and recruit all of a sudden 10 more people or something, and then, then hopefully it will go fine and that it will be good raiders and good people. I mean, knowing your your uh, uh, you guys' guilds luck, I mean, you're going to not be able to raid for the next two years. <laughs> Thanks. But yes. <laughs> Let's reduce that to a year, but knowing our luck... Well, yeah. let me actually say something about that, because there's quite a good reason why that is. 
there's just such a smaller pool of raiders, of rather skilled raiders to choose from. Because the uh, starting raid experience is so skillless, I can't put it any other way. It doesn't really cultivate the, um, yeah, the desire for people to improve and become good at what they do. So the, uh, yeah, the seasoned raiders pool is only going to become smaller and smaller as they get tired of raiding, and move on to other games or just uh, not raiding anymore, basically. Yeah, I, I agree. That hopefully. Now, I don't know if they clarified, you might be able to, I probably completely ignored and didn't listen. Did they clarify, that if it, was it you had to kill heroic or normal to then do mythic? Or was it mythic will be heroic, so basically what's normal now to do mythic. We won't have to do the flex version and, nor, and well, then it's, yeah. yeah. Flex, well, normal, both, we, we only have to do the... New Heroic, which is normal right now. But that will be available to 20-man as well, because I think it's going to be... Yeah, that uh, yeah. Heroic, basically. So, what's called Heroic in the next expansion will be flex up to 25 players. Yeah, well, they were looking at opening that, weren't they? I know they were looking at opening yeah, it. Yeah, up to 30, I believe, any, either way. For the bigger guilds. Yeah. So. So, yeah. recruitment-wise, you'll be able to fit your entire uh, guild in in the first week when you do heroic or normal, whatever, whichever you want to do, and everyone will be able to get the gear. Which, hopefully, with making these changes, you'd hope that it could improve the level of um, raiders. Could do agree, that was, that was probably been drop-off because they've had nothing to push them towards. Yeah. Uh, they just a lot of people just want to see the gameplay, which is fair enough. You can't moan at wanting just to see the story, but what's the point in just seeing the story when they could, if they really wanted to, push themselves? So hopefully, it might push people to do that when they start thinking, "Oh, we're doing heroic grading now." The thing might... is, though, it won't happen until we're already in mythic. So yeah, and the. It takes time for a player to grow into a viable, well, then mythic raider. Um, yeah. At the start, at least in, at the start of 6.0, if we can't recruit 10 more uh, skilled people, because that's what we need, then we're kind of screwed, to put it short. And there's going to be a lot of girls like that out there. Yes, exactly. There's going to be so much... Uh, need for uh, all those players and such a small supply. But yes, that's <laughs> the curse of ten man. I guess I get. Uh, I guess going towards uh, warlords. And nope. I guess ten mans could look at, for example, fusing with the guilds in a similar environment. However, that's Pandora's box, and that's not something I'd rather do. Yeah, mute, um, merges aren't a, a lot of the time aren't the greatest experience. I think yeah. from our, my experience, um, in our experience, I oh, think of yes. three, it, it, it hasn't been the greatest option ever. No. Yeah, I think I've, Never I've seen, has really paid off. I've seen, well, I've seen one properly, and that was um, when our first guild did a merge. I think out of all the raids in that guild, I think was it three. It was a merge of two 25-man guilds for numbers, and there were, there were some half-decent raiders. But I think out of everybody, we had, I think, what, three three stay? And only one of them that we know is still on the server now, or two of them. Oh, yes. So we are talking about bridge burners. Yes. Yeah. We took in, like, ten people, and most of them just didn't mesh well with the rest. Which is always a possibility because yeah. people. Exactly, I mean, because people. That's because people. I mean, not everybody agrees with the other. You know what's but, a new uh, idea? Change mythic mode into one player rating and everyone can do it themselves. <laughs> yeah, why, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's, there's a market for that. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. I think you'd see the amount of uh, raiders go up, possibly. Proving grounds. No. Uh, <laughs> 
mythic proving grounds. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's going to be... Well, I'm just going to say it's Man, shit. It's, 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 it's going to be shit. It, it's going to be a challenge. Like We're in a situation now, as we've said, where we are recruiting more. We, we're getting there. We've got It's a decent size roster for ourselves. But we're moving in that direction, trying to get people moved in and stuff like people re-rolled now so we're already planning towards the changes yeah and that's what I'm trying to do the progression as we said the big guild 25 man guilds won't have an issue because they can uh, through natural retirement can probably keep the very good core quality of their raid team without losing anything which is what a lot of people are going to struggle with is trying to keep that and that's what the trouble we're going to have is keeping that core quality of our raid, raiders which we'll try and say, I don't know what Ed you think. It's coming from LJ, you have said before, you're social reader, man. Um, <laughs> hey, I, I represent the that. Next from... exp- the next expansion for you, in some respects, does look a little bit better for the fact that... Oh, definitely. They can take more players in the Yeah, they raid. can chill, yeah. they can relax a bit more, you can take anyone, you don't have to worry about a setup. But uh, that's 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 what I enjoy with this rating now. Anyways, you you guys know that because I mean, it's, uh, I just like the the easy going of whole uh, of this kind of rating. I think that with the improvement or with the changes of uh, next expansion, that that's going to be uh, amplified anymore, uh, yeah. even more, yeah, amplified and improved. Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty important. As a, to me, at, at the moment it is, and I think a lot of people, I mean, not a lot of people are core, hardcore, core raiders, whatever you want to call it, like you two guys, but I think that, that they also, it's good that they make changes that fit for us noobs, <laughs> 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 to put it like that. But yeah, I, 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 we'll have to wait and see, of course, how it goes, but I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. Okay, great. I think <laughs> I think that's a great way to end the segment. LJ's optimistic. <laughs> All right, yeah, then they, somebody's optimistic. I mean, we're never going to get you optimistic. We know that, so yeah. That's not true. In the rating, I'm very optimistic. It's outside of rating that I'm not. Uh-huh. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Um, that really does it for the news segment this week. Uh, anything? That's, that's what? Nothing. <laughs> no, I really didn't hear what you said. I said it does it for me. Ah, okay. Bye Sorry. then. <laughs> so, um, because really the news this week hasn't been that substantial and what the rest is is the PvP thing, which we've already talked about and... Let's not uh, beat a dead horse with a stick any longer, at least for a few weeks. <laughs> so instead, we're going to have two discussion points this week. And the first one is about the Guild and Raid atmosphere, and uh, Matt is going to introduce it. The first one that Matt has ever introduced. So, oh Matt, God. the stage is yours. The pressure. Um, this dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the next segment is basically a self mezzi in the guild. We've experienced for this entire since we've started the guild, there's been the core main people there, but with people have left, there's people coming and goings. And recently, there's been not a catastrophic one, but there's been a very big issue with um, atmosphere in the guild and the raid atmosphere. So, it leads on to section. We were just wondering how important is firstly the guild atmosphere on a daily basis. And then leading into the raid atmosphere, you say, can you have a good guild atmosphere but not a very good raid atmosphere? Or can you have an atmosphere in a guild that you don't like that works well on the raid? And just want to see the pros and cons of that. Messy. All right. Want me to start? <laughs> yes. All right, then. Um, first of all, between guild and raid atmosphere, I feel that the daily guild atmosphere can be um, less in uh, volume or size than the raid atmosphere because there are some people myself included these days that only really log on for the raiding and so for me especially um, the atmosphere during raids is most important because that's when you have to you have to do stuff together 
and um, well, basically what we had, there were a few um, that were bringing down the atmosphere, which we dealt with for a long time, and sometimes it was needed and stuff like that. But it got to a point um, where it just completely poisoned the raids. Um, so decisions were made, uh, people were removed, and after n new recruiting and stuff like that, or really soon, even one or two days after that, the atmosphere in the raids improved incredibly. The um, wipes didn't really uh, bring the raids down. People were still making jokes, were still uh, ch talkative, and in general, uh, it, the raids were a lot more enjoyable. So I feel that even one person can really yeah, affect a raid atmosphere in a big way. Whereas in a um, guild atmosphere, well, either you could just put them on ignore or just uh, ignore them in general and still keep uh, chatting with others in guild chat or whispers or whatever. And it doesn't affect the guild as much as it does raids. Does that answer your question, kind of? A little bit. All right, then. LJ. Yes. Your turn. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, Matt. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I agree with Me uh, Mezzi on the whole, to be honest. I mean, most times I only log on to Woe itself. Uh, Woe. Uh, to to raid, but thing is with the guild I'm in now at the moment uh, we do so much more. Like I just can't want to team speak, even if I'm not going to play a game or something. But just to chat with the people and to to hang out, hang out uh, as the nerds we do. That's how we do that. Uh, it's uh, I think that's important. It's important to have it in the raids and in the guilds. To be honest, I mean, okay, okay if you're like maybe it's different if you you're more. A core raider than social, than because well, it says in the word social, of course, that you want that it's not about the rating itself, but uh, about everything about it, uh, everything around it. So for me, it was important to, to make that step and to to go to the social aspect, and I really have found it with this guild because, like I said, we do like we play Dota. Well, nowadays, we're playing uh, Civ together a lot, Civilization Five for the people who don't know the abbreviation, but. Um, yeah, I just like that that you have like people that you can just have it, uh, that have the same interest with you. Um, it ha can start off at WoW or some. Uh, for me, it started off with WoW, but it can be something different, of course, for other people. But it's just very important for me to have that 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 I log on to or that I come on a game or that I want and that there are people there who want to play with, uh, want to do something with me, twenty four seven almost basically. Maybe not 24/7, but you get my drift at least. And yeah, I um, I think for for raiding, especially, it needs you need to have a good atmosphere, because otherwise communication, not only communication but everything will decrease. It won't. Uh, it has for, uh, communication as a lot of people uh, who have studied or uh, uh, who have gone to college or such. I mean. Doesn't matter what you're gonna do. Nine out of ten educations have form of uh, class for edu uh, an education for communication, just to show how important it is. And I think that with rating, it's it's exactly the same. If you do not have a uh, good uh, communication or you have a bad atmosphere or whatever, not only not only will it will the atmosphere be less, but uh, everything will suffer because of it. So I think it's one of the core principles of rating as a whole that you need to be in a guild with people that uh, suit you and that you have uh, the same goals but also the same same principles uh, as a group. Does that answer your question? Yes, I agree. With with regards, let me add to it, I pretty much agree with everything said. It's been a very weird situation the last few weeks, say, person with, with their own, own guild and you say the per it was all evolved around a couple of people, something happened and it was a very, very strange situation. And going through the previous raids we had, we used to get situations where you you'd be there, you'd enjoy the raid, you'd be sorting everything out, and then all of a sudden, for no apparent reason, everything would go quiet. And you'd be sitting there 
And this is just as a bog standard member of the guild like me, you know. Just sit there, nod my head and do everything correctly. And we were just sat in there and people were sitting there going, what, what's up, what's going on? No one knew. And you couldn't really ask the officers to turn around and tell people that there'd been a, a bit of a disagreement and that's why so, someone had been quiet. And all of a sudden, for the next 10, 15, 20 minutes on TeamSpeak, the atmosphere was just grating and it was starting to affect on raids. Even though we were progressing, even though we were doing everything that was asked of us, it was getting to the stage where people were, you were just thinking, is this really for the benefit of the guild? Because, yes, we're all raiding. But no one really, we're not really talking to each other. We're not really communicating very well with each other because no one wants to speak to each other. Yeah. So, I think also, exactly. I, I think with, you also got to keep in mind that with rating, a lot of people forget that, especially the more, uh, the higher up you get, that you have to enjoy rating. And I, th- I, with, I know from you two and like other people that, uh, that sometimes you just, it, if so, if communication and, and the social aspect keeps on decreasing, nobody wants to log on anymore. Nobody wants to make the step like, oh yeah, we have to raid, we have to f- spend four hours with these people and uh, do bosses because we have to. But the thing is, you don't have to. Okay, it might be backstabbing people who who do want to, but I mean, I assume that if if uh, if a group as a whole is is deteriorating, that that most people will not want to do that, that anymore. But and then comes the question: Why do you pay thirteen euros a month for a game that you don't want to play anymore? I know it's 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 something that's that you do for a long time that that you don't easily quit. I mean, I've I've been on the game since uh, six ma- months it came out, so not the whole game, so not from the start. But I've been there, been for the as majority good as, the start. as good as for for the almost absolute majority of the game. So I know I I at least hope I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I've been there a couple of times that I just I've been in a guild and it started off nice and it started off good and there was progression. But after a while, I mean, it doesn't matter what happened. Like there could be a, a drama queen, there could be a difficult boss that you don't get past. There could be a lot of reasons, and just it deteriorates over a while. And the, that's of course the strength of a guild to see if you can uh, get out of that, it. get past it exactly, get out of that slump and go go further as a whole guild. I mean that's that's the most important. But if there are certain factors in the in the guild or external factors that you can't control, I mean there's always that, of course. But there they are things that need to be taken into account when you you pay for a game that you don't want to play anymore. And I think that I mean that's the, that's why people change guilds. That's why people change uh, whatever in the game just so they can they can make it more bearable for themselves. And I think that's a wrong way of looking at it. I think you really need to all go for it and if there's something wrong, uh, communicate and talk about it and make sure it, it, it gets solved and doesn't happen anymore or solve or, or fix the problem by removing a person or whatever. But I just, I mean, we have, we have all, it doesn't matter what guild, wh- wherever, there's always one or two people that, that don't sit quite that well in the group and that's just human nature. You can't do anything about it because we're all individuals and we're all different. So, uh, but the thing is, you are in a group now and you have to adapt not only to what you want but also what others want. And that's the difficulty with some people. And yeah, I just think the social aspect is, I think, the greatest thing of, of an MMO. I mean, that's why you play an MMO because there are so many more people playing this game. Otherwise, you could just play another RPG and I've talked to NPCs the whole day. I mean, everybody. I mean, that's why Skyrim, uh, Elder Scrolls, and such are great successes. But yeah, I think just if you want to be social uh, and play an MMO, be social. Yeah, I think yeah. that's one. That's one thing we we said about um, say myself and you, um, LJ. We both played um, Star Wars. Yeah. And one annoying thing about that is yes it's not the greatest game in the world but we were enjoying it we were enjoying the way the game was and we were enjoying playing it because it was different but the one thing that happened was as soon as the guild were in when basically tits up we all stopped playing because it just wasn't the same thing we were logging on we were there was we were logging on expecting there to be everyone on and there'd be like me you and there'd be like three people on every single time 
And it just felt that every single time we logged on, we, we just thought, well, okay, we've got the same four or five people. Ah, brilliant, we'll log on now. And yeah. After that, we eventually all got bored and stopped playing. Now, I still believe if we'd have played that game with the... Say if we if we'd have played the game with people we know people wanted to raid with people we wanted to progress with, I still reckon we'd have played it for a hell of a lot longer. But again, unfortunately, that's what happened. And going back to me the initial point about guild atmosphere to raid myself, I agree with sort of what May said. Myself, I only really ever log on to raid now. I do log on every now and then to level a couple of vaults, but I only really log on to raid. I don't log on to do anything else. So. Even though I think as a guild, we all a lot of us get on at the moment. We have a bit of banter. I know people play a lot more than me out of there and stuff like that. I, recently, the, the, real, the raids have been a lot more light-hearted. We see, we're making more progress because we're not worrying about everything at the time. So I still think that overall, you, you, probably, you need a good raid atmosphere, but the guild atmosphere probably is 50-50 because you, 9 out of 10 people don't actually log on all the time. Yeah. What it boils down to is teamwork. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, that that's the whole core point of course. Teamwork and that and making the team work. Exactly. So as yeah in the initial situation of our guild, um I'm officer, I'm raid leader, so obviously I I've been a lot more closer to everything than uh Matt for example. And obviously, it's been the. It was a lot more complex than we make it out to be right now. Um, guild politics and stuff like that, and keeping the guild alive, for example. And, but one of the main things I feel that also is quite important is actually telling the truth. People were sometimes holding things back, not being honest. And so weren't able to uh, work stuff out basically I think yeah. that uh, as soon as that starts happening the whole thing starts to crack up anyways I exactly. mean if you don't if you can't be honest with your guildmates about of course you don't tell them about like everything you know your mother's middle name or whatever <laughs> but it's still important to tell them if if you don't like raiding or if there's something wrong or those are the things you really need to talk about and if you don't and stuff goes wrong you only have yourself to blame, not anybody else, because the 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 problem. Well, I wouldn't say it's with you, but you have a problem and you need to solve it, and not somebody else. And exactly. that's what some people sometimes people always also forget. Exactly. So, in the end, it was best for the entire guild to just end it. Um, it's been what two three weeks now, and yeah, the yeah. raids feel better, feel more, yeah. Nice, I, fun, I guess. Um, I'm sure the situation will keep developing, at least uh, guild-wise, as we, as we continue to uh, refine our roster. Especially with Mythic mode. Uh, especially in another 10 people. So. Exactly, that's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, the thing to remember is you will always have a core in a team and you'll have to add people around it to make the format work. You need a certain amount of people. And you do need the same type of person in that to join your team. Uh, otherwise, the teamwork won't be as good as it otherwise would be. I think um, the primary example of that is the amount of tanks we've had. Um, there needs to be the connection between the two tanks. Otherwise, things will go awry. And, yeah, uh, that's all I really can say about guild slash raid atmosphere. It comes down to teamwork, and things need to mesh. Otherwise, it's hopeless. Yeah, I, I agree with um, with pretty much everything. So it, it just depends. We, we try hard as you get there, but as long as everything safe. You, you have two tanks that a lot of people don't. Of course, people they don't know, but we start off in in the guild. We got a nice previous setup. We all came from another guild where stuff didn't go particularly very well. So we we got everything sorted. We would got two tanks. We got every, everything we we thought were there sorted. 
within a week, one of the tanks has stopped raiding. I think since then, um, due to a couple of oh, random reasons, I think we've, when we've gone through, what, about 10 tanks? And that's what um, that you mean. I would say between the six and eight. Yeah. But, and a lot of the time... It, In about a year now. Yeah. A lot of times it's been unlucky, but <clears throat> we're, we're now hoping that with the situation, it's going to be settled now. We're going to get into... Uh, we, we've got a couple of good tanks. We've, we've got a couple more. And it does seem that, that they get on. So we are hoping that it's going to be a lot more settled. Because the tank's the main thing. If you have two tanks that know what they do and they make the healer's job sorted, and then DPS, it's then the DPS's job to make the healing healing people's jobs more complicated. So, <laughs> <laughs> ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah, I think that's realistic. I think, as far as between uh, DPS tanks and healers goes. Um, by far the most important of the teamwork is between the tanks, the two tanks, and then the healers. Um, DPS are more easily replaced, first of all. And secondly, they are more independent on most fights. They just do their own rotation, do their own thing, and occasionally have you a hear task. That magic? Did you hear that magic? You can replace magic. I oh, know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, the, the one thing most important that I heard was DPS do, do their own rotation. It's replaceable. Are replaceable, but they do their own rotation, do their own thing. Yes, they do their own thing. Nine times out of ten, DPS run into damage and wonder why they die. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not me, and you know it. Hey, uh, just because you are one with the belts. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, except for what was it, Thursday. Man, I could not become one with the belts. <laughs> that was an absolute nightmare. Um, Siegecrafter, uh, this is people. Yes, yeah, so this is on Heroic Siege Crafter. Were you that bad again? Again? Screw <laughs> you! But definitely my worst performance of all tries, of all uh, raid nights, yes. I'm quite ashamed of that. Uh, tomorrow, a retrial. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, any last thoughts? Good luck with that. Oh, thank you. Any last thoughts on the uh, guild raid atmosphere? I think we've, I think we've covered a lot of it. Say LJ can say from a social point of view. Say with being sort of part of the same group with regards to LJ's guild because I speak to him a hell of a lot as well. Go on the team speak channel. They do spend a lot of time with each other out of the guild, which is probably a benefit when it comes to not being in the game as much. Whereas well, we speak to a few people here and there, but we're not in as much if you know what I mean so um, it's, that's probably the difference between social and raiding yeah us, us, us raiders don't well, I would think so yeah yeah we men, only but... really speak to each other still because of our ties from the previous guild oh yeah if, if it wasn't for that I'd just completely ignore you I know <laughs> <laughs> I'd be doing the ignoring first though just so you know oh Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously, guys. No, me, no, you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just We're... get your sex change over and done with. <laughs> yeah, get it over with, man. Jesus. <laughs> it's been now so long in the running. All right. <laughs> I, no, I don't have to clarify that. Screw you guys. <laughs> It's a, win, it's a win that you were contemplating clarifying that. Oh, dude. Exactly. God. <laughs> I have no intention of doing that. Let's move on. <laughs> well, you might want to start considering it, though. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask this 50 cents back. <laughs> no. Anyway, <laughs> transfer it. I have my fifty cents. People, I paid me fifty cents for twenty-one episodes so far. What is it? I believe <sighs> that was from the very first well episode. That's when people actually clicked on the ads. Ever since, nothing. Click ads, people. Click ads. <laughs> <laughs> yes, poor Matt hasn't been able to get paid. I know, shocking. Yeah. Start with the show and all. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, moving on. The second discussion points. Uh, what were we going to talk about? Oh yeah. Um, let's say Blizzard implements a new class, not upcoming expansion, but the next. Really simple. Total free for all. What class would you like to see implemented most, and why? Or none. Matt, let's start with you. Uh, um. That's, that's, I was going to do something really random, like fairies and all that type of crap, but um, I actually don't know. Are you talking about Messi again? I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in a situation now where I honestly believe we have enough classes. There's no point having any more, if you know what I mean. Um, we, we've got... I can't remember. I've got to try and... Get a brain working now. People should know that's not the oh, best dear. part to do. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. Well, that's <sighs> quite a hard task in a, in a, of itself. But let's just in this. Let's just limit down to the base. They, they kill, they're cutting it down now to a twenty-man raid roster. Mm -hmm. Healers, you've got um, monks, paladins, druids, priests, uh, shamans. So you've got five classes that can heal. That's a lot of choice. DPS. Is everything. Every single class can DPS. To some respects. People will say Paladins can't, but hey. Um, so... Not if it's LJ. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? It, in, Screw in all, you guys. In all theory, so every class can DPS. And then tanks, I think it's five again, is it? You've yeah. got Death Knight. Oh, I think it's it more. You've got Death Knight. Death Knight, Warrior, Warrior Monk, Monk, Paladin, Druid. Druid. Yeah, so again, you've got five choices there. So there doesn't really seem to be any gap for a new class. Um, you'd only see a new class coming in to replace something else, and I just don't see the point. Um, I'm more interested in, I believe, it's character models. I think yeah. they were looking at. And, uh, yeah, but we already have those. So at least not character right. model. You, you know what I mean. Um, oh, sub races. Well. Sub races, sorry. Sub races? Uh, yes, like no. you get to choose your dwarf is uh, the frozen oh, dudes the, the, the or dwarf, iron dwarf, Dark iron dwarfs. Oh, like wild that. hammer. That would, that would be awesome. Yeah, I'd much rather see that because at the end of the day, if you really want to say, I'd like... Um, I'm trying to think of a, a decent class to do you, you may be a pure um sort of a male tanking melee thing as well whereas male just looks hard and has spelly things to hit. i don't know something that something completely different a completely different set because you already have the one with leather and this is what you don't understand you can tank with leather but you can't tank with male yeah well that one out but, but uh, it wasn't like back in the day enhancement shamans could tank yeah, they were off tanks. Weren't they used great, to tank but yeah, off tanks. They were decent off tanks, as far as I know. So, but that they removed that, yeah. So yeah. not nowadays anymore. So no. maybe get a male tank. We but, even got uh, up to the point. Sorry for interrupting, but we even got up to the point in the Burning Crusade where, if you had enough resilience, you could tank as a Moonkin, because oh, yes, that's worked into defensive skill. Oh yes, you could tank as Moonkin because I did it. Um, yeah, a few dungeons doing it as a laugh, but um, yeah. So, do you know what I mean um, something like that, something completely different to what there is out there? So you could utilize because at the moment you've got two classes that have agility, agility and stamina male items, mm -hmm. and how many classes that use cloth and all the same stats, and how many classes use leather? Do you know what I mean it, it's one of these things? I don't know. It, Maybe you say a male user that can do tank. I don't know what type of class you'd have to do. Or I'm not quite sure. But as I said, the, the main thing I'd be interested in would be, um, say, the sub races, getting the sub races in there, getting them fully sorted, giving people more choice. That would be a very, very subtle change that would automatically give everyone lots more choice. So that's my All right. take. Yeah. Fair enough. I hadn't, I hadn't thought about that yet, to be honest. And that's pretty. Do you want nice. me to go first? Sorry. Do you want me to go first then, or? No, no. I was just, uh, just. Uh, I hadn't thought about the option of like sub sub races. That ah, is cool. Okay. Like you have with, 
a lot of different games like uh, Final Fantasy has the yeah exactly Final Fantasy um, but yeah for classes I don't think there's really anything missing I mean I'd like to see like something like uh, um, like you have a Star Wars a range tank or something like that but uh, someone's echoing Matt Matt is right uh, am I? yeah yeah you are as much as I love hearing my own voice, I don't think it's useful at the moment. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I don't like like with what is it, the bounty hunter? I think in in Star Wars, I really like that as a ranged tank. It's really weird and new. Awesome. It is awesome. I mean, like death from above is so cool. But yeah, I mean, for the rest, not there's not really something that. Uh, that would scream, yeah, I need that in this game at the moment, because it's incomplete. There's enough tanks, healers, and DPS. Enough DPS for sure. So, yeah. It's... it's uh, Class-wise, I think we're, we're complete. Alright. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the only thing I think. Uh, not much more to say on it, I think. Okay, great. Then uh, I'll give my thoughts on it. I completely agree with you. Class-wise, we're there. We don't need anything more. Because adding anything, a new three specs, would mean a whole lot more balancing for every single raid encounter. Again, different mechanics and stuff like that. However, if they would absolutely have to uh, give one more class, I would say make it a tinker. Make it a half support class, so that uh, a tinker could perfectly well be a DPS, for example, uh, putting down turrets and whatnot, but also uh, support for the healers, for example, uh, different tinker type things. I can't think of anything right now. Maybe some kind of stim pack thing, even though the word stim pack is from StarCraft. Uh, and but Star Wars. I had that as well, exactly. <laughs> Um, but something along the lines of that, something we don't have in-game yet at all. And in that case, uh, I can see a Tinker using mail. Sure, why not? Um, yeah, yeah, that would be nice, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Tinker, it sounds like something, oh, what's it called, the engineer from Guild Wars 2, you have something like that, which is pretty... Difficult but nice class to play, but it, it's it does sound like something that would be newish to the game, especially yeah. if you can place turrets. I mean, that might, pardon me, look a bit like a, a shaman, but then more with more interactive totems to put like that. Yeah, so, but yeah. if they make it work for the tinker, really as supports, giving I don't know other DPS buffs, injecting them with steroids for all I care. Yeah, I think that add a new. But challenging uh, dimension to rating. I, I I think so too. I, yeah. I agree with you. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> well, it would it, it would be the only issue you'd have is if you were doing stuff like um, say dungeons and stuff, you'd have to balance it so it could still do a decent amount of DPS. But mm -hmm. yeah, it, it give it a DPS spec. Hell, give it a tank spec. Let it use different gadgets and stuff to tank the boss. Yeah, could be done. I I I could see that working. To be honest, it's it's not it could it is has been done before. So I mean, yeah, why not? Glad we all agree. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Again? Hey, oh Blizzard. God. Well, I say I think the reason being is as we said before, it is something different. It's something a bit. Weird. That's why I was just saying, that I don't really know of anything that I'd want in the game, but the one thing I do know that it needs, if you did have another character, it would have to be something completely different. That's the only way you could do it. There's no point in um, messing around and trying to have, um, yeah. let's say, just bring in, because the thing I'm worried about is that, the other thing we haven't really mentioned, Apart from the only thing I can really see male wise is there's only two classes that wear male. Mm -hmm. And is it four, three or four that wear plate and the other ones wear 
two that wear leather, three that wear cloth or something like that? Something like that. Uh, three so, that wear leather, rogues. Oh, yeah, three that wear leather. Monks. monks. So, male's probably the only only area that could probably take another class. class. So, we'd have to see. We'd have to see what they came up with. Another thing, actually, um, it's been on, in, on the back of my mind forever, but if they do a complete overhaul of the Hunter, make uh, Beast Mastery a tank spec, um, somehow infuse yourself with your beast huh, to give your mo yourself more uh, tanky qualities. Kinky. <laughs> I never knew you were into furries. <laughs> Learn something every uh, new every day. I hate you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> I really effing do. <laughs> so, Beast Mastery for tanking, um, Marksmanship for pure DPS, and Survival for healing. Uh, with Survival, you already infuse elements into your arrows. Instead of infusing damaging elements, infuse it with healing elements and use your bow to oh. heal people. I'm not going to say a word, because if I say a word, you're just going to hate me even more. You know what? I already hate you, so <laughs> you might as well say it. So you're basically telling me that you want to shoot your arrows and heal people. <laughs> I think... What? Well, you're there. I think you <laughs> killed Arthur. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, man, it's one way of doing it, I think, I guess, huh? Well, if you look at Star Wars, for example, they have one of the classes to oh, can true. shoot Our people and heal can, them. can heal by shooting him. Yeah, exactly. Because we never so made why couldn't that. that be applied with eh, lore-wise magic? <laughs> oh, fuck. <yeah. laughs> oh, dear God. I'm going to so hear that at the raid tomorrow. Wow. No, but yes, well. for all intents and purposes, with magic, infuse the arrows and heal people. Not bullets, but arrows. So I'm, you'd I'm have just... like five arrows sticking out of your head, but you're actually getting healed. Yeah. I, I, I like to think. I like. To, I like the look of that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing, actually. If it's uh, hot, it stays on your character until the hot fades. God, that would be actually quite funny. <laughs> I don't know. I would love to see something like that happen to hunters. Give me something new. That is one thing I don't. I, I, th I do think I say I do think they should give hunters something new because it is very very stupid. I think I don't know. I think both. I think is it hunters and mages are, and rogues, aren't they? The three specs that only can DPS. Warlocks as well. And warlocks, yes. I think they should probably give them an alternate spec, as you said, something like, I don't know what it would be, but something different, say maybe one that's slightly more, it's all right to, you almost use your tinker idea and um, give them a spec that's more utility and not actually pure DPS. Yeah. Uh, or pu just something that way that might actually um, work and help. Yeah. So, you never know. Exactly, you never do know. <laughs> wow hunters <laughs> and magic oh dear god <laughs> I think it's Just time to end the podcast spread the magic <laughs> oh wow I, I, I've got something to say but it can't It's sorry it can't be said for the podcast so I'll have to, I'll have to say it after the podcast oh wow you're really going to leave the viewers hanging oh yes you'll, trust me as soon as you hear it you'll understand Okay, in that case, um, this was episode number 21, WoW Weekly. Um, if you liked the podcast, which was... I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but anyway, <laughs> if you liked it, please comment, subscribe, click the like button, all that good stuff, uh, as far as YouTube goes. Uh, also, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Weekly or Twitter at twitter.com slash Um You can also check out our website, please do, uh, wowweekly.net. Um, we try to keep it up day to daily. 
didn't really work out this week. But hopefully that will go better upcoming week. Um, I don't think there's anything else. So nope. thanks to my co-hosts for joining. You're Thank welcome. You, You're welcome. I, I Okay, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week. <laughs>